Dynamics 365 Remote Assist Mobile brings the power of mixed reality collaboration to your mobile phone or tablet in an easy and familiar way to help you fix issues together. Similar to using Remote Assist with a HoloLens headset, Remote Assist Mobile allows technicians to share what they see with a remote expert, along with voice, chat, and mixed reality drawings, among other features. And because Remote Assist is an app on your mobile phone, you can use it on your business or personal device alongside other work apps like Outlook, Teams, and Dynamics 365. Let's download the Remote Assist mobile app and start using it. First, download the app from the App Store on your phone or tablet. Remote Assist mobile is available on iOS and Android devices with ARKit or ARCore enabled. In this video, we are showing the App Store on an Apple iPhone 10 running iOS 13. From the App Store, search for Dynamics 365 Remote Assist and download and open the app. This should take just a few minutes. Both downloading and using Remote Assist requires internet connection, either cellular or Wi-Fi. Sign into the app with your username and password. In many cases, this is the same username and password of your Office 365 account. In this case, we are signing in with Azure Active Directory. If this is a trial, simply choose Continue. If your organization purchased a license, this will not display. If your organization is utilizing Dynamics 365 field service work orders, enable the field service integration. In our example, we are not, so we are going to choose Skip. The first screen you will see is a contact search to find experts to make remote assist calls to. In the top left, you can access the main menu. In Settings, there is the ability to enable integrations and Energy Saver mode as examples. In the Information section are various options for help and the mobile app version you are using. Learn the Tools is an in-app tutorial. Feedback is for providing feedback on your experiences with the app, and Switch Accounts is how you can sign in with another user. Let's start with the in-app tutorial to learn the basics. But first, make sure you enable camera and microphone use for the Remote Assist mobile app on your phone. This is done in your phone settings, not the app. Select Learn the Tools from the main menu, and begin to follow the prompts. First, move your phone around. If this were a call, this is what the expert on the other side would see. Next, select the arrow at the top and then select a place on your screen to place the arrow down. Then select the draw option at the top and again use your finger to draw a line. You can tap the color box to change the color of your arrows and your drawings. So let's go ahead and make a real remote assist call. From the main menu, search for a Microsoft Teams contact to call that represents the expert. You can search by first and last name or by email address. If you've made remote assist calls in the past, they will show under Recents and you can select them. After selecting an expert contact to call, choose Launch Call. Shown to the right, the expert will receive the remote assist call like any other Microsoft Teams call on his or her PC computer or even their mobile device. Only technicians using remote assist can call experts and share their screen, not the other way around. And calls are only supported between two people but larger group calls between multiple people is planned as a future capability. Once the expert accepts the call, he or she will begin seeing what the technician is seeing through the phone's camera. Just like Microsoft Teams and other apps, the technician expert can use chat to send messages back and forth. And the technician has the option to hide or show their camera feed from the expert, or mute their voice, or put the expert's voice on speaker for louder sound. To record the phone call, select the record button at the bottom. This is helpful to use later on for training purposes or to confirm work was done correctly. Either technician or expert can initiate a call recording. A main benefit of Remote Assist is it allows technicians and experts to draw on what the technician is seeing. This is referred to as annotations. This makes it easier for the expert to give guidance on how the technician should work on a machine or equipment to resolve an issue. In this example, the technician will have red annotations and the expert will have yellow annotations. First select a color, like red, and an annotation type, like the arrow, and tap your phone or tablet to place the arrow and inform the expert what your question is referring to. On the expert side, he or she will see your arrow. 
The expert can also make drawings. This is done by selecting Start Editing and adding arrows to describe repair steps. The technician will also see the expert's arrows on his or her mobile phone. Most importantly, these drawings are anchored in a shared mixed reality space. So even if the technician moves his or her camera around, or even looks away completely, the arrows in all drawings will remain in place. Other than arrows, technicians can select the draw tool and draw on their field of vision while asking the expert questions. If needed, you can select the undo icon to remove the last thing you drew, or hit the trash icon to remove all annotations that you've made. And the expert can do the same to remove all of his or her annotations in Teams. In some scenarios, you may want to take a snapshot of what you're seeing to freeze the frame and share with the expert. And using Remote Assist on your mobile device is advantageous because you can navigate smaller, harder to reach places and take a picture. Select the camera icon at the bottom and a snapshot of the current camera view will be taken. You can then add annotations like arrows and drawings on top of the snapshot. And just like before, the expert will see your drawings. After you are done drawing, select the check mark to exit the snapshot and you have the option to save that snapshot to your phone's local photo gallery. Furthermore, if you begin to encounter poor internet connection and the video feed is blurry, the app will automatically detect lower bandwidth and prompt you to take a snapshot to annotate and share with the expert. Experts can also share files with technicians to provide them more information while fixing an issue. From Microsoft Teams, the expert can simply select a file from OneDrive or their local storage and send it in the chat. The technician will receive it and can save it to their device and view as needed to fix the issue. In this case, it's an image file of a machine diagram. However, not all files can be shared, so check the documentation on docs.microsoft.com for supported file types. Shared files are automatically stored in OneDrive to reference later on, and if you enable the integration with Dynamics 365 field service, the files are posted to the related work order timeline. Once the issue is fixed, you can end the call by selecting the red End Call button. The expert can end the call on his or her side as well. If the call was recorded, the video recording will be available in Microsoft Stream after a few minutes. To learn more about Remote Assist Mobile, Remote Assist on HoloLens, or how Remote Assist integrates with Dynamics 365 field service work orders, see the links below to our public documentation and video playlist.